Hello, Dominic here. I'm the Festival Director of the Bournemouth Writing Festival and I'm looking forward to welcoming you to Bournemouth Town Centre on the 26th, 27th and 28th of April 2024. Now we have over 80 writing events and activities to inspire you to write um, and hoping to improve and progress your writing journey. Now one of those um, activities is actually Headshot photos we found uh, a room within the pavilion dance and we're going to set up a little photography studio where you can come along and have your headshot taken by a professional photographer and that could be used for your book cover for your social media for your website for your publicity whatever you want to use it for now um within the room we have is actually the dressing room of the pavilion dance so it's all professional you've got the mirrors with the lights around it we've got the um, posh uh, warm lights for you we've got different backgrounds for you to choose from you can even bring your book along or a prop or whatever you want to have in uh, in your photo now as part of the deal uh, you get um, a minimum 12 photos royalty free license free however you want to use it um, and it just depends how the session goes really as to how many uh, photos that you get but you'll have a minimum of 12 to choose from for, uh, for whatever use you, you would like um, and I think that's really important for authors to um, have a photo in their best light, professionally done, great lighting, not blurry. Um, and then you can use that uh, for anything you want to help you promote your books. Now, today, I am very pleased to welcome Luke English to our series of interview um, sessions uh, to bring to life some of the 80 plus events and activities that are happening across um, the festival this year. Now, Luke is a media lawyer and he specializes in media, tech and commercial law. He has over 24 years experience working for some of the big hitters in the media world, Disney, BBC and Sony, just to name a few. And he went freelance and he now offers a wide range of legal services, whether drafting or reviewing or negotiating contracts. He works with musicians and artists um, in the film and TV world but also authors on their collaboration and publishing agreements. Now, Luke is a big fan of comics, and he also has a podcast on comic heroes called What Heroes Do. So if you are into comics and comic heroes, then check out his podcast. So Luke, hello, welcome. Hi, hi Dom. Thank you for having me today. No problem. So your talk is called The Legalities of Writing. And you did actually do a talk last year um, on the dark arts of contracts, which is what you spoke about last time. Um, and this was really popular, actually. It's more popular than I, I imagined because so many people had questions of you um, on copyright and what happens with the contracts and stuff like that. So it's so fantastic to have you back, uh, Luke, this year. And your title is Legalities of Writing. It's at 11.30 a.m. on Sunday, the 28th of April. Now, the venue for this is in the Avenue. It's not in the Pavilion Dance, which is the main festival hub. It's in a secondary uh, satellite venue called The Avenue. And it's a shopping centre and it's on the main pedestrian area in Bournemouth. So, Lou, tell us, as a lawyer, how do you help authors? Well, my job is to protect them because the authors have spent time and, and effort in creating these wonderful pieces. Um, and now they want to share it with the world, which is brilliant but they want to make sure they share it in the right way and that it doesn't all go to waste. So um, I work with um, authors, I work with script writers, uh, and that can be um, simply helping them because they've been offered a publishing deal and they want to see whether these the, the rates they're being offered and the advances they're being offered are, are good, um, or it could be um, that um, they're a script writer um, and they're being asked to take a book and then write a script out of it, um, again, for a feature film, um, for a TV series. Uh, and so, um, yeah, in both those ways, what I'm doing is I'm protecting them. I'm making sure they can get the best possible deal um, and that, that they can understand uh, all this legal spiel that they've seen in black and white on a bit of paper. Uh, I interpret that into English language and something that they can understand so that they can go away and be really happy that they've they've done the right deal and and they, they're happy to give their services. 
it could be so exciting when you get a contract and you're like wow i've got an agent or i've got a publisher and it's like right here's a contract and you're probably so excited that you probably don't read the small print or understand it so i gathered you know so you come in at that point do you and, and help authors with with the contract whilst they're in that excitement mode that, that that's exactly it um uh, i i'm i'm on twitter or x as it's now called and i have a a, a catchphrase on it which is um uh, don't sign a contract without without um, uh, dropping me a DM, a direct message, because it's one of the things that breaks my heart when someone does get that contract. They're really excited about it and they just sign it. They don't read it. They don't know what it says. They don't know what they have to do. They don't know what their obligations are. And then it's that horrible phone call I get. Hi, Luke, I've signed this contract. Can you get me out of it, please? When nine times out of 10, the answer is going to be no. Um, so much rather you have a conversation with me or someone similar to my field, get it done, get it done correctly. And, and you know, I don't want to burst anyone's bubbles and, and stop them from getting excited, but let's just make sure it's the right thing for you. And it is it's so important. So you talked just then about, um, I suppose, the copyright of the author, so what they've written. But in our private Facebook group, there were a few questions over the last couple of weeks and months about, um, am I allowed to use this song title or can I use this lyric? You know, you cover kind of copyright and allowances of other people's works as well. Yeah. So what I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, there's not going to be no spoilers in this little interview, but what I'm going to be doing um, in, in my talk um, is basically lay that all down and talk about right. Um, if I if I do an autobiography and I write about Uncle Bob, can Uncle Bob sue me? Or if I write a, a thriller but I want to put Taylor Swift lyrics in it, do I have to get Taylor Swift's permission to put the lyrics in it? So these are the these are the really good questions that people ask about. You know, I've got an idea, but I you know it's taking a little bit from here and a little bit from there, and um, what permissions do I need? What, what's allowed, what's not allowed. So, yeah, if we, you come along to the talk, then uh, then you're going to get some 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 answers. That, that's great, and and that's a lovely little taster as to what uh, people might learn in, at your talk. So, give us a, a little uh, an idea of kind of maybe some of the other topics you might be touching upon. And and I, I seem to remember at last year's talk, you you had a lot of time for Q and A's. Yeah. So um, I think uh, what we did last time was great. So I, I took a kind of, uh, uh, I created a general publishing agreement and put it on the screen. And I kind of said to everyone, look, let's go through some of the key things in these agreements. I mean, a, a lot of people immediately focus on, right, what royalty am I getting? Um, which is good, but also how many words have I got to write? When have I got to deliver it? Um, uh, and, you know, marketing, uh, am I doing the marketing? Is the publisher doing the marketing? Have I got to turn up at, um, uh, at, at Waterstones at eight o'clock in the morning every Saturday? What these, these type of things, you, if you don't read the small print, you don't know kind of what you're getting yourself in for. Um, and then the other key thing we spoke about a lot is also the options. So if your book does really well, the publisher might want an option in their contract. And, you've got to have a think about, well, if it goes well, well do I want to work with them again? Um, and do I want to give them sequel, prequel rights? Or do I want to hold that back that if it becomes an international bestseller, then I might go and talk to another publisher. So, um, yeah, so in, in the talk that we're going to, we're, we're going to have uh, in a couple of months time, there'll be an opportunity to obviously talk about that in a little bit more detail as well. Um, so if you've got those sort of questions or, you know, I haven't got, I haven't got my contract yet, but what are the kind of key points I should be looking out for then? Yeah. Very happy to speak about those. That's great. And do you know what? Every single writer, you know, dreams of being published and as you said, having the option for it to be turned into a, a TV or film uh, production and, um, you know, getting all of that stuff right, at, getting it right right at the beginning is so important because otherwise your, your hands are tied and as you said you can't get out of contracts no i've been i've been very fortunate i've i've worked with uh, international writers and we've done deals with you know the the big players so the the netflix is the amazon the disney's in this world um so i've been very fortunate to, to negotiate on their behalf and make sure that the deal is the right deal um but yeah you just have to make sure that it, it's, it's right for you and then sometimes you have to say no actually this isn't the right deal and i need to walk away um the other thing just to quickly mention is um 
we obviously talk about you know the the the, the golden ticket of signing with publishers. Um, if you decide to self-publish, there's still bits of paper that you're going to be given, um, and it's still important to read that to so that you know exactly you know how you are delivering your manuscripts to whatever company that you're is helping you to self-publish it um how much you know if you want to buy the hard copies of the paperbacks how much is that going to cost you that type of stuff so uh yes a typical lawyer i know but always good to read the small print really well no that it's it's great and it's such an interesting topic and you've got so much experience you say internationally with some of the big media companies of this world so to have you at the writing festival is absolutely brilliant and you're bournemouth as well so um great to have you uh in the local area so uh, luke english his uh talk is called legalities of writing it's at 11 30 a.m on sunday the 28th of april remember at the avenue um venue not the pavilion dance the avenue um and you can buy your tickets now so thank you so much luke looking forward to seeing you there Great. And uh, yes, looking forward to seeing you there, Luke, and everyone at the Bournemouth Rising Festival on the 26th, 27th and 28th of April 2024. See you there.